Welcome back guys, welcome to the third GFX tutorial in the series, the third and last. Today I'm going to be talking about how to add a room to your GFX. So, let's just search up room. And, you know what, even though I don't like this stupid aesthetic trend, if you have an aesthetic avatar, it, it's fine, it's completely fine, I'm just not a big fan of it. But, just for the sake of this video, we'll, we'll, we'll be using it. All right, make sure it is a model, and then export it. We're just gonna export it as room. Now, your computer may freeze up a little bit, since this is a big model with a lot of different textures and meshes in it. This is gonna take uh, maybe a few minutes at max, depending on the speed of your computer. Your fans might work a little harder, might freeze up, but that, that's pretty normal. So let's just uh, go ahead and save it, and I'll uh, see you guys again when it's done saving. We can head back into paint. Hey, while you guys are at it, if you could consider subscribing, that would be pretty cool. My channel almost has 25 subs, and my videos seem to get an average of around 30 views, and my, my last tutorial got over 1,000, but that combined like 1,100 people that watched a video on my channel, out of them, only around 5 subscribed. So, if you can subscribe, that would be really cool. It motivates me to continue doing content like this, as the videos take a while to edit. And my phone is going off, so I'll just cut back to Blender. Okay, we're back in Blender. Now, we're just gonna do this how we imported the hats and how we imported the lantern. We're just gonna import it, wavefront.obj, and find the room. This might freeze up your computer a little bit, since, like I said earlier, it is a big model, but that's normal. Okay, our room has successfully imported, and my fans are turning into a jet engine. We're gonna temporarily switch back to Eevee here. Ah, that's better. Alright, so just move it around until your avatar is in a good spot with the room. We're also going to move our camera here. So it just gets a nice shot of our little Mr. Skyhop here in the room. Oh, <laughs> did not mean to do that. Thank God for control plus D. Alright, this is uh, pretty good. Now, you can like make cool poses of your avatar sitting in a chair, but this is all we're going to be getting into today. You know what? Actually, let let's add some lights, just to fit with the theme of this area. So let's go ahead and add a point. Let's up, to the, up the brightness to around maybe 250. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's change the color to a nice soft just to just go along with the aesthetics of the room a little bit. And let's see, I think, I think we can up this power a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we can add another one, move it down here, maybe change the shade. And we can change back to cycles. And we can start rendering this. Okay, looks like this thing has finally finished rendered. We're gonna go ahead and save it here. This is actually my first take of this GFX tutorial. I didn't save it last time, and then I discarded all my progress. So, yeah, we're gonna save this, like, right now. Alright, so, thank you guys for watching. It's been really fun recording this. I thought I would be super nervous, but I don't know. Something just changed today. So, uh, yeah. Smash like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Uh -huh.